Alright everyone, this is our video on how to search the databases in more depth than I showed before. Of course, you can still go to articles and search for keywords in this little tab thing that we have on the main library page. But I'm going to take you into find materials and then articles and databases. And this gives you an A to Z list of all of the databases that Lincoln University has access to. Uh, some of our new databases are going to be over here on the side, and one that I really want to point out is Science Direct because that has a lot of journal art journals uh, that have to do with science, obviously, based on the name. Um, it's a really prestigious source, and it's something that our science faculty really pushed for, so I'm really excited that we were able to offer that to everybody on campus and off campus. You know, any Lincoln person can access it. Um, because I'm not super familiar with Science Direct, I'm actually going to do this tutorial on our EBSCOhost databases, which is actually the bulk of the databases that we have access to. So I'm going to go into EBSCOhost. And the topic that I've chosen to research is diversity in literature. Uh, the reason I picked that topic is because there's a lot of diversity in children's and teen fiction, but I want to find out if it correlates into adult fiction as well. Um, so this is the familiar screen that pops up when you get into a database. Um, so I've actually done a search for my topic here. And as you can see, these first few results are saying request this item through interlibrary loan. I'm going to show you guys how to do that in just a second, but something that I wanted to point out is that sometimes, even though we don't have access to the full text in the database, you can sometimes find it in Google Scholar. So I actually scrolled down and this was the article I was able to find freely available on Google. It actually doesn't fit my topic, but just for the purposes of the example, I wanted to show you. So you just copy and paste the title into Google Scholar, and the website for that is just scholar.google.com. And you'll see here that it says HTML and full view, and so this is how you know that the article has full text available through Google Scholar. If there's nothing um, to the right of the link, then it doesn't have full text available. And that's when you would need to go in here and do uh, an interlibrary loan request. So I'll do that with this first article up here. Click request this item through interlibrary loan. And all it wants is your personal information because the information for the article is already submitted down below. Um, it's pretty straightforward. The only one that might be confusing is your library card number, and that's actually going to be the student ID number that's on the front of your student IDs. Um, if you do not have a library account, you might get an error message that the request didn't go through. In that case, please uh, email me or one of the other librarians and we will build you an account so this works perfectly for you. I'm actually the librarian that fills interlibrary loans. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I will get an email with your request and I'll do my best to fill it as soon as I can. But this is part of the reason that I wanted you guys to start doing your research early so that you have time to wait for these articles to come in. So um, I'm actually going to take us back to the library's homepage. Or the database page. Um, now we'll just go to the library home. And the other type of interlibrary loans that we do are uh, for books. And to do that, um, it, you'll click here on search more libraries through Mobius. And Mobius is what we call a consortium. And it's just basically a group of libraries in an area that share materials. And so this catalog search will search not just Lincoln's, Holdings, it will search holdings for libraries across the state of Missouri and some uh, libraries that aren't in the state. This is a good resource if you need a book that Lincoln doesn't own. 
Um, so I'm just going to put in my topic again, diversity and literature and see what comes up. You can search this by keyword. You can search this by title. You can search this by author. Um, there's a lot of different ways that you can look for stuff in here. So I'm just going to start with uh, my, my keyword phrase. Um, and so this is going to tell us some eBooks that people have access to. One thing that I have to caution you guys about is just because Mobius says the ebook is available doesn't mean that Lincoln has access to it. So with this first example, it says Central Academic Complete Missouri S&T Access. That means only students who go to Missouri S&T can access it. So I'm actually going to narrow this down. So I'm just getting books and journals. And so now uh, let's let's take a look at this first one, reading across cultures, teaching literature in a diverse society. So we can see that 14 libraries have this title. I'm going to click into the, the record for this book. And um, it gives you a summary. It gives you uh, the table of contents, all different kinds of information that you might need to know about the item. And then down here, this lists all the libraries that have access to this book and whether it's available or not. For this one, you can see that all the copies at all the libraries are currently available. So it will be really quick to get this in. So then you would click request it and it'll pop up with this new uh, box you will select Lincoln University from this drop down menu. And then you would type your first and last name in this box. And then for your campus ID number and your campus code, what you're going to use is you're going to put three zeros, then your student ID number, and then LU at the end. And that's because it just needs nine characters to recognize it as a campus ID number. And then the LU at the end tells them which campus you are coming from. All right, so now I need to look up my student ID number, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I have just copied and pasted my student ID and then I'll put my full name in here. And then I'm gonna click Submit. And so as you can see, my request was successful. It's going to tell you which library it's coming from, and it's going to tell you where to pick it up, which by default would be the circulation desk here at Lincoln University. If you are a student that is not near our main campus, then getting Mobius books is a little bit more tricky because we don't have a pickup site at, uh, excuse me, at Fort Leonard Wood. So if you are at Fort Leonard Wood, please get in contact with me and I will help you get access to these books. Um, and so then you can just log off and uh, we'll send you an email when the book is ready for you to pick it up. Okay, so now that we've covered all the interlibrary loan stuff, let's go back into the database and do some more searching on my topic, which is diversity in literature. Okay, so now I'm going to limit to, to scholarly peer reviewed journals. And I'm also going to limit the publication date using this slide bar right here. Uh, this is something that I've asked you to do for your assignment for this week. I want you to find two journal articles that have been published within the past five years. And that's a pretty good rule of thumb that most disciplines use for current research. So you just slide it up to 2015. And this is going to limit the number of results you're going to get. So it's only gonna show you things published within the past five years but it still has 3,000 results. So I'm gonna show you some more ways to limit your results so you can find uh, things you need quicker. So let's say I'm in a pinch, I need one more article for my research and I just want to get something that has full text available right now. 
So I can click this check mark and it will only show me results that I am able to see the full text for right now. And so you can see we've limited to 971. So that's really good. Another thing you can do is an, your advanced search. You can do what's called a Boolean operator search. And all that means is using these terms and, or, and not to narrow your results. So um, what I'm going to do is instead of saying diversity in literature, I'm going to change it to diversity and literature and see what that changes in my results. And you can also choose the field. Um, so you can choose uh, text, author, title, subject terms, anything you want to do with that. Um, the ISSN is the number that is given to articles and the ISBN is the unique number given to books. So if you know that, you can look it up directly using those numbers. So this is giving us a little bit of a different search base. Um, and because I've changed the search terms, I do have to go back in and limit it to scholarly peer reviewed journals again. And then I'll have to limit it again to 2015. So some of these don't really fit the type, the topic that I want to choose but we can see that this one, diversity as evolutionary in children's literature, actually does fit my topic because it's talking about diversity in children's literature. So this would be something that I could potentially use for my topic. So I'm gonna go in here, and this one does have the PDF full text available. So one of the things I wanna show you guys how to do is to keep track of your articles so you don't lose them. And to do that, you can just click on this Google Drive button and it will save the article into your Google Drive. If it has the full text available, it will actually save the whole entire article. If it just has the abstract information, it will save that. So then you can come back to it later and request it through Interlibrary Loan. Um, EBSCOhost will also cite the information for you. You just click on the cite button and it gives you all of the different versions of citations that are available. Um, we are either going to be using MLA or APA based on how you guys vote in the little quiz that I put up, but APA and MLA are very, very common citation types, and so every article should have APA and MLA citations available for you. So um, let's go back into my search and let's say I want to search for things that are not in children's literature. So I'm going to say diversity, not children's literature and see how that changes my re research. So this is a lot of stuff that isn't really, doesn't really fit my topic. Um, and so sometimes you just have to play around with the search terms and the limiters and see what you can find based on uh, how you search. So one of the good examples that I have used in the past is when you're searching for uh, topics that have to do with African Americans. Well, in some of the literature, they're going to call them black. They're going to call them African Americans. Um, so sometimes you just have to use like synonyms to find exactly what you're looking for. And I think that is about it for this lecture. If you guys have any questions about anything that I covered in this video, please reach out to me. Research is one of the hardest parts of doing your paper. And so I don't want you guys to get tripped up in this step and then feel like everything else is just harder because of it.